This video is sponsored by Policy Genius. If you have anyone relying on your income, you need life insurance. It's that simple. Policy Genius is your one stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need at the right price. We pay hundreds of dollars per year to protect our homes, our cars, and even our phones. But too many of us aren't taking steps to protect our family's finances. Inflation is driving up prices for just about everything. But life insurance rates are down from this time last year. And since life insurance typically gets more expensive as you age, that means now is a great time to buy. Policy Genius is an insurance marketplace that makes it easy to compare quotes from top companies like AIG and Prudential all in one place to find your lowest price on life insurance. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Options start at $17 per month for $500,000 of coverage. Just click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash Chris saying to get your personalized quotes. The licensed agents at Policy Genius work for you not the insurance companies. They are with you through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. Head to policygenius.com slash Chris Sane to get your free life insurance quotes and to see how much you can save. Okay, guys, what a day it was, man. Shout out to everybody that's in the Discord, guys, because I know if you followed anything we talked about in there on today with today's morning briefing, you guys, whether to the upside or downside, were able to do your thing. And really, guys, that's what it's all about. Ensuring you guys are just making incremental progress on your journey, okay? But listen, guys, we had the Fed meeting, and I told you, it gets very, very volatile. And hopefully, for those of you that were in the game on the day, you saw it for yourself. But check it out, guys. The Dow closes 500 points lower after the Fed delivers another aggressive rate hike. Guys, we were up all day. I told you guys in the morning that we would have a morning pump or stocks will go up in the morning and then sell off once the meeting started because that's typically kind of what you get out of a fair rate height meeting, okay? And so today was no different. It played out to a T like we kind of spoke about this morning in the disc. Well, with that being said, guys, I want you to see that these plays broke through new levels on today, okay? You guys know that to the downside, for instance, like the SPY, and we'll talk about that later, it broke through 380 to close out the day. When stocks make new lows, we have evolving levels and i want to teach you about those on today okay but with that being said man i just want to say major salute to those of you that did your thing really quickly guys let's go ahead and take a look at my portfolio this is one of my long-term dividend plays okay this is what i use for passive income verizon ticker symbol vz sitting at 39 dollars 54 okay now check this out i'm gonna show you guys two plays i'm gonna take you under the hood today and show you guys two particular place but i want you to focus on what i'm about to talk about okay now let's look at verizon okay it was down 2.7 percent today or a dollar okay now check this out look at my position guys okay T do what you need to do with that but i want you to look at my total return okay how do i prioritize what i'm going to buy okay i buy my stocks i add to my long-term plays and my dividend plays every monday and every friday it's a system and i've been doing it for a long long time which is one of the ways i built my wealth increasingly high okay but check this out guys seven percent i'm down in this one now look at this next play okay main street capital this is my monthly dividend stock all right this one's sitting at 38 dollars 78 cent it was flat on the day that's what you might as well call this okay but let's look at this one okay and look we got an 18 dollars dividend coming september 27th i'll make sure i make a video to show you guys all the passive income that's going in from just holding these dividend stocks but look at my position on this one okay now take your eyes to the total return you should see 2.41%, a negative 2.41%. Okay, how do I determine what gets prioritized? Something that's down 
versus something that's down 7%. I'm going to go with what's down 7%. So on Friday, just so you guys know my system, and there's no right or wrong. I've always made this a fun game. I love the stock market. I love investing. I love building wealth. And so any play that's down 5% or more, that's where my money will go when I, it's time to buy on my Mondays and or Fridays, okay? So I won't add to Maine because it's only down 2%, but I will add to Verizon because it's down seven percent so i'll probably get this down to four percent or three percent by adding some stocks right here at this level or below because again my average cost is 42.87 and this is currently sitting at 39.54 okay hopefully that was helpful just so you guys can also have a system in place for when and how you buy and add to your long-term plays okay if i'm down five percent or more and it's a long-term play I'm buying dollar cost averaging, okay? I don't let myself go down that much in my other plays. That's what, I, that's what a stop loss and stuff come in at, okay? It's a difference between high risk, quality, long term, and dividend plays, okay? Now on to the SPY, guys. Look at this, ticker symbol SPY. Wow, wow, wow. Currently in after hours sitting at $376.49 down over one percent on a day over one and a half percent and six dollars and seventy cents to be exact look at the day it had okay all day from nine time to market open they were just boom this is was that that morning pump they rode it from here from 385 they took it all the way to 387 it got a lot of resistance and rejection at 387 but nevertheless it held that whole time then boom, like clockwork guys at two o'clock, look at this big candle down, okay? It fell, plummeted all the way down from two o'clock, kept going down to 2.15 before it bounced back up. And it was just a crazy day, but a great day to, again, listen to the things we talked about in the Discord, as well as make money off of these massive swings, both to the up and downside. And then guys, it ended up closing the day out to the downside. And breaking through our 380 levels see 382 had been showing a lot of support it broke through 382 then 381 tried to put up a little fight 381 got smacked and then it went to 380 and then guys it ended up closing at 377 but it already has failed even more in after hours really quickly for those that want to make some money on this if this is red in the morning or if it gaps down do a put some other place to take note of guys is Apple ticker symbol AAPL this one too fell look at this chart guys and this just for why I tell you everything flow from the spy look at the spy and then look at Apple tell me don't they look very very similar okay look at Apple then look at spy but nevertheless guys same thing with Apple it tried to hold 156 157 all day touch 158 a couple times but nevertheless it's under 155 sitting down here at 153 tomorrow if this continues the downward pressure 151 is back in play to the downside okay 155 is your move to the upside and then you kind of evaluate from there and then last but not least guys is tesla ticker symbol tsla currently sitting at $300 guys it was down over two and a half percent today look at this chart doesn't it look very very similar to Apple to the spy remember I told you guys everything flows from the spy so whatever the spy do it has the ability to make these other plays morph into looking just like it or matter of fact just go look at all your other stocks and look at the spy and look at the chart on these plays and tell me don't they look very very similar okay but listen guys i want you to be ready for more volatility okay but when volatility comes you have to be on the lookout for a bounce a bounce is inevitable but that doesn't mean we won't go down a little bit further okay so of course i'll talk more about it in the discord i'll make sure i show up every day in these videos to make sure i educate you guys on what's to come so that around here we are all about making money consistently as well as safely and conservatively guys okay so listen man, i just want to tell you guys to keep up the good work listen i'm looking for progress not perfection and so i want you guys to embrace all of this that you see day in and day out the market is a crazy beast 
by now many of you know that okay but if you didn't know now you know today you had the cpi report last week you had the jackson hole meeting the week before that it's just been week after week after week nothing but crazy crazy volatility okay however when you learn how to master it it's a huge money making opportunity i'm telling you guys some people are able to hit their income goal just off of these few events or just the volatility that a bear market brings okay and so when you embrace it just know there's ample opportunity to make a lot of money but i want to make sure you guys are doing it in a safe and responsible way okay so with that being said guys make sure you check out policy genius the link for that is in the description below also guys make sure you join us for weekly options if you haven't done that as well as the discord all right with that being said remember we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace